my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to try to repair this little scope here. So this is my own one, it was working fine, got it out to try and use it today and it's completely dead. So I've come out, turned it on and nothing's working. Obviously initially I thought it was the battery because I've had a just made this little 9 volt battery adapter here, stick it on the back here to make it portable. But look, this one here I've got 9 volts on it. and it's still not doing anything. Yeah, you can see nine volts there. No, you can't see nine volts there. There you go. And now if I plug it in here and turn it on, it should liven up, but nothing's happening at all. Switch feels nice. Doesn't feel anything wrong with it. So I need to take it apart and look on the inside. I presume this thing comes off here. Okay, that's there. That's the bottom bit out. So we've got our switch here. That's the input there. I wonder can we take it apart anymore? Oh, okay. That's right, fine. There's a little connector there to separate the front board and the back board. So this should come out now. Is it going to come? Yes, it is. All right, let's undo these two screws here. There. Right, okay, so power. Let's put, actually I'm going to have to put that back on there. I wonder would it work if I didn't have it connected to that backboard there? We're saying that we don't need to put power into it, we can just measure where the voltage comes into it, can't we? So let's just do continuity. And we'll go straight onto that jack. It also says positive and negative here. Maybe there's an option to connect up a, a separate. Maybe you can power it from there as well. Right, so the outer pin. Okay, so the outer pin's going to all those ones there. Oh no, it's not. The outer pin's going this side, and the inner pin is going to this side here. Oh, I found the fault. Look, this is the inner pin here. Can you see it's just come away from the board? There you go. Do you know what? When you have faults yourself, they're always so much easier to fix than when you buy a faulty item. Because the easy fixes have all been done normally when you buy a faulty item. Right, I've got my soldering iron on, I just need to tap that. Well, that explains it. Do you know what must have happened when I've been storing it? This has been in here, and obviously this has got knocked, which has then forced this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, solder that on there and then I'm gonna let's see if there's room that goes there is there gonna be room at the back a bit of room I think I'm gonna put some hot glue gun around here just to try to keep it more steady otherwise that's gonna break again All right so my solder irons up to temperature Gonna flood it in solder there. Hold it down. Now that should be okay. Just gonna add a bit to the negative as well. So that's done. Now let's try to get some glue over this area here. So I'm just going to use a glue stick and also my hot air. But I'm going to put my hot air to 150 degrees Celsius. So it's not going to melt the solder, it's just going to melt the glue. Right, it's starting to melt now. Let's put it all along there, the back part. 
but it's not going to interfere with anything else. There we go. Right, I'm going to let that go hard. Right, okay, that's gone hard now. So hopefully that will give it a little bit more protection. Let's get this thing back together. Okay, let's pop that in there. Let's turn it on. There we go. And now let's just connect the leads to this top thing here. So this is a one kilohertz signal. There we go. So let's change the voltage. Right, so we've got two volts there. So each of those is two volts. So that looks like it's a four volt thing. And let's go to milliseconds and we can change that there. There we go. Excellent. So it appears to be working. Nice and straightforward. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. Take care. Bye now.